Well, hello there, my fellow hopeful investors. It's that time again. We're going to tally up what we received in dividend income in the month of August. It feels like we just received this lovely gift each month, and it makes me so happy. So for those of you just joining me on my dividend investing journey, I just got started converting our investments into dividend stocks at the end of 2021. And we saw our first dividend payment of 60 cents back in January. But look how we've grown. We pulled in a total of $163.98 in the month of August. Isn't that exciting? So that now brings us to drum roll, please. And if I can figure out how to add sound effects, this might be even more exciting, but it brings us to a total of $574.22 in dividend payments year to date. I know it doesn't seem like much to maybe some of you more experienced dividend investors, but I had to start somewhere and this is where we're at. And as always, I like to consider what I could potentially use that $163 to pay for of my bills this month. And this month, it would cover our Verizon phone bill and even our Netflix charges. So I'm pretty pleased about that. Let's dig in. Let's start by taking a look at our monthly payers of which we have three this month. The first of which is JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF. Isn't that a mouthful? The ticker symbol is JEPI, or as some investors like to call it, JEPI. It offers a current dividend yield of 9.38%, and they paid us $17.78 in the month of August. And that is where we begin our tally of the total dividend payments that we received in the month of August, and we start at $17.78. Our next monthly payer is Main Street Capital, ticker symbol M-A-I-N, or Main. In the financial sector, this company provides private equity and debt capital solutions. They are presently pushing out a 5.99% yield, but it's only been increasing their dividend for the last year, so here's hoping they continue. We own a total of 88.64 shares, and we received a payment of $18.84. And this brings our monthly total up to $36.62. Realty income, the last of our monthly payers, is a real estate investment trust and a favorite among dividend investors. This monthly payer trades under the ticker symbol O and is currently paying out a 4.07% yield. They've been increasing their dividend for 25 years, making them a dividend aristocrat. We own a total of 32 shares, and we received a payment of $7.89, which brings our monthly total up to $44.51. AT&T, ticker symbol T, is presently paying out a 6% yield. Given the recent spinoff of Warner Brothers Discovery, AT&T is back to square one with dividends, so we have zero years of dividend increases, but I'm hopeful that they're gonna get back on track. Our shares gave us $16.15 in passive income, which brings our total up to $60.66 so far. Who out there is long on AT&T? Verizon, whose bill I could pay with this month's dividend payments, ticker symbol VZ, has a 5.79% yield right now, and they've got 17 years of consecutive increases to their dividend payment. They paid us $14.13 this month, bringing our total dividend payments up to $74.79. TD Bank, a member of the financial sector, trading under the ticker symbol TD, is currently paying out a 4.01% yield, and they've been increasing their dividend for the last seven years. Our shares paid us a total of $21.42, bringing our monthly total up to $96.21. Enterprise Products Partners, ticker symbol EPD, has a dividend of 6.96% and has been increasing their dividend for 22 years. They paid us $1.54, which isn't a lot, you guys. I need to increase my position at Enterprise Products Partners. That's the plan. And that brought our monthly total in the month of August up to $97.75 in dividend payments. Trading under the ticker symbol ABBV, ABV is in the healthcare sector and is presently paying out a 3.9% yield and they've been increasing their dividend for the last eight years. Our shares of ABV paid us $41.04. We've got a pretty big ABV position right now and that brought our monthly total up to $138.79. 
This is the last dividend we're going to receive from Ruger, as they didn't make the cut to stay in the portfolio. I just did a deep dive in my portfolio sector by sector last month. I looked at all the different stocks to see what continued to make sense and what didn't, and Ruger didn't make sense. So this will be my last payment for them. They have a dividend yield of 5.67%, and they haven't been increasing their dividends year over year, which is why they needed to be removed from my portfolio. But at any rate, they paid me $4.93 this one last time, and that brought our total monthly dividend payments up to $143.72. And finally, Procter & Gamble, which is the last stock we received a dividend from in the month of August. This solid performer has 65 years of dividend increases, and I wish I had more in my portfolio. They offer a 2.44% dividend yield, and they paid us $13.70 in August, bringing our grand total to $163.98. I'm so excited. Now here's a quick look ahead to the companies that we are expecting to receive dividends from in the month of September. Just a reminder for y'all, that X dividend date is the date by which you must own your shares in order to be paid out the dividend on the pay date. For example, I just got paid by Intel on September 1st because we own shares on August 4th. Now I know what you're thinking. It's too late for you to get those dividends and you're right, but I just did a video recently outlining 10 stocks to buy in September for October paydays because maybe like some of you, I was a little light on the October payments, so I had to do a little research. So go watch that right now. I don't want you to miss out on an opportunity.